it rained a lot last night, like thunderstorm, lightning, wind, power outages, so much rain. Almost two inches of rain, that's crazy. I don't even know where to put it. Nobody needs any water. <laughs> I think it's safe to say that my garden definitely appreciated the big drink. Let's go inside here. Strawberries are looking good. They're standing up. They just got planted yesterday, so they don't have too much to complain about. I put some tomatoes, or a tomato, in the grow bag, or not really a grow bag, but in that bag. We'll see how that works out. And then I've got two in my Tupperware container here, and two in my Tupperware container there. I planted sage here, and these are pepper, 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 pepper. I'm not sure what kind of pepper though, because like on my tomato mystery, my um, my writing faded off of my tags, so I don't know what kind of peppers these are, but uh, I guess we'll find out soon enough. It looks like my cucumbers really got a beating with the rain. Oh, definitely this little ground cherry kind of got blasted into the ground with that rain. I showed you guys my beans just a couple of days ago and look how big they've gotten since you've seen them last. Isn't that insane how fast they grow? Really please, this white row still still struggling. There's a couple here. Here's one. Here's a good one. He's fighting a good fight. And so is his neighbor. There's a couple of them that are coming up. Hopefully we'll get a couple more. My tomatoes. Here's my new tomato cage. They're looking pretty good. I still need two more cages. And my mint, you can see it's already spreading. These guys are moving along. And then I got some stevia. Kind of excited to see how that's gonna work out too. And my corn. I have a couple little baby corns coming up. The second row is struggling. I don't see anybody in that one. But my first row will give me at least like four ears. My potatoes have exploded. I'm so pleased with their progress. really big. A couple of peppers. I still have seven more tomato plants that I need to plant. I think I'm going to try to get some more uh, Tupperware containers and plant them in those. I just don't have the room in the garden for them, so maybe I'll just stack them around the edge and see how that works. I came out yesterday and put some basil in this container and in that round pot there. I probably shouldn't have done it though because that rain came and just blasted the ground. So now I imagine that they are probably, all the seeds have washed to the edges and are gonna clump up in a big grouping whenever they come up and I'll have to, I'll have to thin them out or maybe I can spread them out again, but 
I probably should have waited, but I got excited. Cause that's how I do. Guys, look at the difference in my dog's paw prints. This one's Bubba's and this one's Colby's. so funny. Bubba weighs in at about 206 pounds and Colby's about 40 so <laughs> it's quite a huge difference. <laughs> it's a really pretty color. I'm not usually a big peach color fan on flowers, but these turned out really nice. These were here before we got here. We did not plant these. Purple one. Those are nice. What do you think, bud? Huh? Are those nice? He doesn't care. Couple of really pretty purple ones over here. My hostel. I actually have some coleus I need to get into the ground. I love coleus. Well, that's it for me today, guys. Just a quick walk around the house and the garden after a giant rainstorm. I'm not gonna plant anything today or get in the garden because I just need everything to dry out before I can mess with anything. So thank you for walking around with me and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.